Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new painting tutorial. This time I'm going to paint this uh, witch or sorcerer from Bones. From Bones, sorry, from Reaper Miniatures. It's not Bones, it's a metal one. I, I did not like the plastic material. So I went just for the metal options. Uh, I'm going to paint her. This is the most voted by, by the out um, uh, by, uh, in the post and as well in the video. So I will start now first with the base and from there we are going to, to work, okay? I do the base first because I want to do some dry brushing and to do, be able to do that as I can deal from their surroundings. I, I prefer to do it first. So I'm going to apply this current um, light ink, okay, this paint on the these stones that the, because it have like a it comes with a small base. These miniatures are coming with their own base, and I just glue it here on on a square base. I add some filler to make like if there is more than after this. So we're going to apply this on the stone part because then here I will add that is if it's more than a close environment, if it's in the street or or in altar and then around there is some uh, plant or something like that. Okay. Like if it's a magical spot somewhere lost in the forest or you who knows. Okay, I do that and then I need to wait at this device before uh, doing the dry brushing. Okay. Okay. While this is drying, I will start painting the skin with cadmium flesh tone. Uh, because the, uh, yeah, the skin is, uh, this includes face and all the belly. So I'm going to skin and I will be back for the next step okay we have done the skin okay just to avoid the weight too much now we are going to start doing dry brushing on this stone so I will start with downstone of course we use the typical technique for dry brushing just take paint, use a very old brush with the, the first of the brushing is going to be quite heavy because I want the stones to be much lighter than what you see now. And this is why I do it now because we are going to dirtan all the clothes the bottom there. So I want to be sure that this is done before the, the, the gloves, okay? Okay, next I'm going to do dry brushing with Administratum Grey Okay, now I'm going to go even lighter and I will use Celestia Grey.
to the moment where I deviate from the greenish palette and I start using some greens. So I will use a quick uh, khaki. This will help to simulate uh, like lichens. Okay, yeah, we are going to do again the brushing, but not everywhere. Of I want to give the sensation that this is a bit humid. I'm going to use the Vialta Green Wash. This will be a green. Now I wait that this dries and I will come for the next step. The watch of the eye. I'm going to take again the rest of the way and I'm going to dry brush again on top. And you can see who looks like now. Take some rest of the way. Dry. Some parts of minerals than others. Okay, let's leave it like that. If we don't, if you want less green, you can do a little bit more of, or do a brown white now. I think at this moment I will leave it like that. I'm going to start painting on the cloth. Here I was hesitating how to do the cloth. And I think we are going to go for purple cloaks. I was thinking just a moment on the color combinations I want to do for this lady. Because I was hesitating how to do I mean, So I will go for deep purple on main of the clothes. Uh, we'll go. For, I will try to go for the purple ex uh, with quite extreme highlight. The inside of the capes and clothes, I will use uh, more a pinkish color. And then you see all this type of thing that have. I will go for a light gray to have a contrast. So in that way, I will contrast the deep purple of the clothes with uh, and and I will add some details in almost white. Okay, to have. Uh, have a little bit of contrast. Uh, I will do the star and the, the and this the, and some details in gold. And I think the the um, this thing the um, glass ball will go in yellow, like if it's glowing yellow. So let's start first with the inside. Uh, I like to work inside to outside, and then I think the here, maybe I will do it in greyish color. Yeah, I think we'll go for greyish or pale yellow. So let's do the inside of the cape. Okay. And I will apply the 
is this is quite a dark color as well and I will try to use this to give a velvety this looks quite a thick cloak in some parts I will try to work as it is velvety okay let's go like that uh, I prefer to Dirtem first the okay, let's do this. And I think if I do some free hand, some powders on the inside. The last part you want to do in this miniature is the staff, they will be touching the staff continually. And here, since that is fall out. So I go back to here. Here it's difficult to read, so you just put some of this color there. If I didn't like, I will clean up later on. But the important is that we don't see metal. We cover this elbow quite nicely. This I will do it like gold, but well, the chain and the decorations there. Okay. Okay, we have a small part that is visible. Okay, this is quite tricky. So I will just here we need to be careful to do it on the rock. Here, I think it's fault in. Here goes to the interpretation of everybody. So we will assume that there is fault in the other direction. Okay, and I'm thinking if I will do. Enough where we have done the we have put too much, and I will now use uh, no before cleaning up. Sorry, I changed my mind. I will use Nagar on Night in the places where I want the dark purple. So I have the main colors block, then from there we can start working. to see how everything will look like. So I will apply no never on night. This will go on the outside cape and most of the clothes. Okay. So I will do that. 
and I'm back for the next step. Okay, I have applied the dark purple. Okay, we will need to retouch, but I just want to block the colors, and at the end I decide that I will apply as well the, this uh, the different purple or the screaming pink. Okay, the same we have done for the inside of the. I will apply this on the top. Okay, so in that way we have a contrast with the other purple. And we can work here. So we have. I want to be careful with this pinkish color because I, I don't want to go too pink. I want to keep it this dark. I want to keep it as this different reddish tone of purple and contrasting with uh, with uh, the other purple. Okay, I really don't want to go for high contrast here. Okay, and as you can see I left the borders as much clean as I can in the white color so because I want to them to, to go on the white and we can see how the contrast will look like. will not be fully white but quite whitish. And the arms, I was thinking if they were, if, they, if she had clothes or not on there, because this can be a top with a sleeve or not, and at the end I decide why I think she's not wearing a sleeve. Okay. So we apply that. Then there's another strange piece of cloth for decoration. I think there I will go completely for a different color. But I'm happy how this combination looks like. The end. Okay. And now to make this pinkish even darker and a little bit desaturated. Ah, and I forgot to put the purple here in the middle. So I will put the purple here in the middle and I'm back for the next step. Okay, next step I'm applying retributor armor. As you can see I already start applying it. So I will do on the star, on this thing on the hat. Okay, this is not uh, something special. We will just apply this, the different part where we want the gold. Okay, we'll do as well the moon here. So I will do all the decoration with the theater armor and I'm back for the next step. So I have applied the gold on the different parts. This was done in purpose because now I want to do a couple of washes. First, I will apply um, Raglan Flay Shade. We are going to do this on the gold and on the skin parts. So I just start here on the gold. We'll touch the purple after that. Sorry the image have changed, but my camera have broke down so I'm using a second camera. I will apply it as well, regular play shade here on all the parts. But it will be softer on the skin. Eh? than the white and now we do the skin
prepared this this one is so flat in this side that we should not apply too many washes. Okay, and then we don't need to forget, I was forgetting the arms. Once we have applied the, the wash, we will need to wait at this device before doing any further step. Okay? So I do that, I wait at this device, and I'm back. Okay, next I'm going to use agarros dunes to do the hair. Okay. So I will use this contrast. Intention is to give hair this uh, I want to go for blonde hair. And agarros dunes will give an, a good base to start doing blonde. see that okay try to avoid yellow to the blonde the other option is to use a seraphine sepia directly or to put bleach bone and then bleach bone or but well, no, it's uh, Shapti Bone, or Screaming School, or even Floyd Bone Flesh, and then do uh, a Seraphine Sepia Wash. Okay. You can see that it looks nice and blonde. See? I'm going to do the white bar. And for the white bar, I'm going to use uh, I will use I'm going to use with charger. Okay. With charger will go here inside. And this texture is going to be too thin to pick it up with dry brushing. some purple we will need to do it later on
Now we're going to use another contrast. I will use uh, Magus Purple. And I will apply it on this thing she's wearing on the forearm. It's not a bad combination. And I'm going to paint the staff. And for the staff, I will use the snake bite leather. Now we will wait till this dries because it's very easy now to rub up some paint. So, but first, I will eliminate some of the snipe by leather. So, I will with the brush and then just clean up a little bit.
So I will wait at the existing device and I'm back. Next step, I'm going to work on the face. Okay, so I'm going to start with the eyes as I used to do. And we will first use, uh, do the, yeah, black. We are going to play black. So I take a thin brush, and I take kills, about on black, sorry. And I'm apply it in the eyes. She has one eye closed and one open. And this this looks her way close. Next, while this is, I wait that this dries nicely, I will paint the lips. I will use, I will first use a uh, screaming, screamer pink on the lips. And mainly you want to paint the bottom lip, not too much on the big lip, on the top lip, if not she will lose, she will look that have very big lips. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply the white in the eye. So I'm going to use this one, the way it's here. The other one I'm hesitating if I just no, I put very little. Okay. Now I'm going to use black. to put head like this bit. 
Because he's watching the, the ball. Center, but I mean. Okay, and now I'm going to use Cadian Flesh Stone to start cleaning it up. highlighting the cheeks, the chins I'm just starting to be too much okay then we are going to use Start using then Bookmax Glow to help me on the shades and to soften the transitions. Playstone up
going to do the eyebrows, but we're going to do them in Cadillac, in Kislev Flaston. Okay, we don't want to do them in a yellow or something like that. Because it will become too much. But you want to do some nice fine lines. Okay, so I'm using Kislev Flaston, any light Flaston will help. No, I'm going to do the shading there. Okay. Now we're going to keep working on the skin. Going to mix Goldman Slow with Cadian Flystone to create an intermediate tone. see first I'm using cadmium flaystone to highlight and then I will use 
Move my flow to help me with the transitions. Want to smooth all the work, okay? The same we have done until now. So I will keep doing that for for the arm and the leg now. And I'm back for the next steps. Okay, next step I'm going to work the highlights on the this type of um, purple and I'm going to use Screaming School, uh, Warlock Purple and Emperor Children. Okay, this Warlock Purple is very similar to the Screaming School but it's much, it's more magenta. The other option is to use magenta from another company. Okay, so these are the, these are the colors I'm going to use. Okay. So let's start with first with the screaming school. Okay, and I will first do the first highlight. I'm going to now start using the Warlock purple. This is an old city. Okay, it seems I have the problem with the camera and I lost part of the uh, explanation. So I'm going to do another part and explain what I did on the top by painting the other part. So I have done at the end all the top part of the dressing. And I just put a little bit of pink here to give a little bit of mm, highlight on the lip. So let's paint this fold there. What I do first is I apply the screaming pin. Okay. As you can see, I do it here. And I do it here. Okay. Then we are going to apply the Warlock purple. Remember, it's a magenta, so you can use a magenta or you can use the screamer pink with some pink inside with the uh, imperial children pink and i will use this i mean the will make the color right you do you use the the imperial children mix with we do like that and now i will use imperial children for the extreme highlight but you can see that the pair of children is too extreme normally, so I go back with the Warlock Purple because it's very transparent. Warlock Purple, you can even go a little bit in. You have this, okay? I do the same on this other fold here. Try to put a small amount of screamish pink for the pair of children. And now with one of purple, we highlight. Okay, I take a little more of screamer pink, and now I do this part like that. And we are going to do the same on this part here. So I'm going to first apply skimmer pink like that and I will do as well like that. This is very tricky because in, in reality this is facing down so you don't want to put you don't want to highlight it too much but on the other side it's very flat this part of the of the dressing. Okay. 
So you want to add something there because if not you will have a really flat color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus a little bit on this part here. The highlight and the upper part of the clothes. Okay, and now I'm taking the screen of pink. This, as I said, this piece of cloth is very, very tricky for me to do it. But you want to add some variation, but it's so flat. I will go to add uh, more is that the artificial I will go next to the white plugin. I will take a little bit of a pair of children. You can see that it's too too much clear. Okay, for sure. So this is why here the bird children have to be fastly cold, covered by warlock. And now I'm going to use the screamer pink here, even then. And this is what makes maybe this is cool, quite tricky to paint. Pink with a pair of children again. I'm going to create an artificial, like an artificial bright point. Like if there is a reflection or something, or and now I will cover with the screamer pink. So it really, you want really to soften all the transitions and make them as soft as possible. So it's a little bit of white blending. And I'm trying to create some part where you have a little bit of variation. Yeah, I think I will leave it like that here. And then we'll paint the top. Okay, and I will use no. Warlock. And I will leave it like that with this artificial bright point. I think we'll will make what have to be done. So we can make another one. This is more subtle. Okay, now let's take, let's work on the white because we wanted to clean up a little bit of mistakes and so on. So I'm going to take gray here. Okay. This one, gray here. And I will First, we'll take a damage brush and I will do very gentle, it's not really dry brushing because it's going to be quite wet, I just eliminate some of the paint but I will Okay, 
ways. And here I will clean up in some places I just went over by mistake. It's quite a big brush for the music here but I to be able to because I, uh, this is what I'm doing now is a little bit of light dark dry, very soft dark dry brushing and this will really damage the brushes so this is why I'm using this one. Now I will take pure white. Okay, this one with white scar. We want this is like foolish, it has like a texture, so I want to be sure that I pick up the texture. but I can that is also damage so from this one is quite an open brush now I will try to white It's going to be tricky because I don't want to get on the skin now. Okay, let's go for the purple. So for the purple, we are going to use Cheerios purple. No, we are going to use Cheerios purple and Jen Stiller purple, and maybe at the end the color black. So let's just start with. I will do just a little bit of the cape and then the rest of camera. So let me, for example, do 
from the not make sense. I will do this part of here. Okay, so first we go with shadows purple. And I would like to pick up the different folds where I want to have and here the coolest thing is although in the inside looks quite flat I will we will also need another night in case we need to help us on the transitions of course the person is cool. okay so we apply first we'll do this half of the cloak or cloth okay as you can see i applied shadows purple okay now i will use gen stealer purple and I'm going to apply it following the fold And finally, I'm going to play a little bit of the color on the back. The same process will be followed in each fold. And I will do the same at the edge of the hat. So I need to do all the dark purple more. only have to be used in the most the biggest folds and just in a little bit in a little part of the biggest folds folds okay I'm going to be consistent I will do the next one Okay, I'm just going to do the purple. 
no another knife because I don't like that this one small but so you also will need another knife to do some small corrections or maybe imperfections from the previous layers you can see small imperfection there I just get it still uh, okay, let shadows. Here you want to add just below a little bit of shadows to show that this is shaded, this is hiding under the top part of the cloth. That this part has to be much brighter, okay? So I will go directly with shadows there, for example. This part here, you want to make it, you want to make here a, a bright point, right? Because it's really exposed. So here we need to do quite a big transition on white blending and most likely finishing with and the color look like. Purple. I don't like that. I'm not wishing to sparkle. I'm going to transition. Still a purple, so softer. And shadows purple. That. And I'm going to even use Nagar of Night here to darken this part. Okay, 
So and like that we are going to keep working. So I miss here. I still need to do some fold. This part is not. Yeah. You really want to insist a little bit with the color lock here. To really put this part highly highlighted, and then we use the GMS chiller. And the shadows to soften all the confusions. Okay. This is what you want. You want this really this part to be brighter. Okay. So we'll keep working on this, and I'm back um, following the same steps that I have done in this folds the rest of the cape, and I'm back for the next step. Okay, so here we have, we have done the purple, okay, this is from one side, this is from the other side, I also did the hat, so you can see, uh, and I did all the purple, so I think I will finalize here part one, because it's taking quite long, and I will do a part two where I will focus just on two details, right, because I want to really um, um, pay some attention to the bowl, and we are going to do the stuff and the book on the base, okay? So it's taking a little bit longer than what I was expecting to paint hair, but I, I try to paint them, uh, paint, uh, paint them, paint hair, uh, paying some attention. So this is why uh, it's taking a little bit longer, but I don't mind. So here you have, uh, I have top here part one, and uh, get uh, tuned if you want to see part two, where I will do the details and finalize the miniature. As usual, thanks a lot for watching and see you again later. Bye!